Hi everyone, I'm Tina, the Creative Guru with Gems, Paper, Scissors. Today I am joining fellow makers with a Twisted Sister YouTube hop. I am twisting our thin cuts, the postage frames, the Z4437, and instead of using the die cuts to actually cut, I'm going to show you how to use any die cut you want to emboss. So I am using the Skate Like a Girl, which is a special stamp for me. I had the privilege of working with Main Office and their design team and whatnot to actually participate in designing that stamp set. It's an incredible opportunity that many other companies do not have. So what I did was I took this fun little medium sized thin cut and I cut out a piece of cardstock the shape and size I wanted and then I used my handy dandy washi tape attached it and then I made my sandwich like normal but instead of having a shim or a spacer to help thin things down I took one of the foam sponge inserts from one of my stamp sets and then I ran it through so that helped absorb the pressure of the cut to create this embossed look. Because I didn't really want to cut, I just wanted basically a fancy tag utilizing this fun die cut. And again, you can do this with any dies that we carry. So I ran that through my machine, which currently I am using the Gemini Jr. just because my hands hurt and so doing it with a hand crank is not an efficient use of my body mechanics. So let's get our creative hats on. I am using the Hope and Kindness paper pack to make this card. We'll see how it turns out. I've got some things pre-cut to help expedite this. I'm just going to basically do a pretty simple card here. So using a white daisy card base, I cut this pattern out of the Hope and Kindness down to a four by five and a quarter. I'm just using our basic tape runner as I always do. You could take a moment and distress the edges, but I am electing not to today. Then I am going to, let's see, let's go ahead and attach this little strip. It's just one of our, our pieces from the Hope and Kindness set. Again, I'm just using the tape runner. I'm going to run this down as a nice little separation visual. And as you know, I don't usually measure things out much. I am taking our papaya shimmer trim that I cut to five and a quarter. And I'm going to show you this fabulous trick to get that backing off because it is a tape. It is does have an adhesive. Some people go ahead and just run adhesive down. But then the slick, shiny side on the tape backing comes undone pretty quick. So if you use some adhesive on a piece of scrap paper and put a nice thick coating down, you can get it to stick and peel pretty easy as you just saw. So there's papaya in this set and I just wanted to pull that out. I'm going to use my embossed piece. Remember, that's nicely embossed. You could actually do it on either side. I'm running with this side. And I am going to use the Why Hate When You Can Skate with our archival black, which is my personal go-to black ink. Many people, including Chris My Heart, choose to run with um, the intense black. and it, really, it's whatever you prefer. But I'm just going to plop this down, sort of off-centered. Um, I'm going to skew it just a little because I want to stamp a skate to put here. 
So I'm going to lift this off with some 3C foam paint. Uh, I'm going to run with thin just because I want it to lift nicely. A quick little batch of adhesive. Some people put a lot on, some people put something in between. I kind of put a lot. I want it to stay forever. So just peel that back. And then I'm also going to twist one of the stamps in the Skate Like a Girl stamp set. Um, for this particular card, I'm gifting it to somebody who really enjoys skating. Let's see, no, I want that further over. And, uh, but I don't think she's really into the angel wing skate look. So I have taken a, my winged skate here and I have really washed off a patch. Um, and it's just a masking tape technique where you go in ahead and stamp with your ink of choice. Again, I'm still using my archival black. And I'm going to stamp onto some white daisy. Just really simple little skate here, as you can see. Let me lift that off. Oops, I forgot to take off the tape. That happens. So we're going to do it one more time. But I'm going to remember to take off my washi tape. Just like so. And it can get a little messy, especially since I have this piece in the middle. I'm just going to use our pickup tool type of a extra fingers and lift that off before this has a chance to dry. I'm going to stamp it just like so. There's going to be a little part that I masked off that didn't have a connection on that line. And I'm just going to use a journaling pen to finish off that skate back. Just like so. And now I have a basic roller skate that I can go ahead and trim down to my liking. I do that very fast. Not going to really do a hardcore fussy cut here. I don't really feel the need to. Um, this is actually going to be a card for one of my nieces. So she'll enjoy it. And you get to see how to do some changes on basic stamping and embossing. Multi-purpose here. So just like that. I've got this great little skate and I'm going to use a tiny piece of that thin 3D foam tape, just like so, and I'm going to put that so it's floating right on the edge of the YH when you can skate, just like that. So I think I want to add a little bit more bling and to do that, I mean, I thought I could put these down on the skate wheels. That would be kind of fun. But I think I'm just going to put them right here on the shimmer tape. Let's see how we like that. Mm, that really doesn't pop. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the other corner. Next one. I'm using my non-stick scissors to get that placed. That just lifts them on. And because they're non-stick, the adhesive backs let me place it right where I want it, like so. And that concludes this fun little Twisted Sister Hop card. The ingredients and cups are in the description below. As always, if you like this video, please like it, comment, subscribe, and hop on over to the next person's video. Have a great day.